Hi, I'm Daphne Richards and this is Augie, CTG's Doggy Horticulturist. Our question this week is, my tree looks great, but it just isn't growing. Why not? Well, most people assume that they just aren't watering the tree enough, so they ramp up the irrigation. But a lack of water is likely not the issue, so more water won't help. A tree that's not getting enough water will not look great. It will show signs of stress, such as yellow or brown leaves that dry up and drop off limb dieback, and perhaps even borer damage and other secondary pest problems. And with last year's extreme heat and drought, followed by more hot temperatures and lack of rain this year, we do have a lot of trees across central Texas that are showing drought stress symptoms. Trees that aren't getting enough water also don't grow, but they look stressed. So the first thing that comes to mind in this situation, since the tree looks good, is girdling roots. If a tree was grown in a container for too long before it was purchased, the roots will hit the sides of the container and begin to grow in a circle. And if this pattern isn't corrected before planting, the roots will continue to grow in a circle and will eventually choke the plant to death. I say eventually because the entire process may take many years. And while the tree is slowly dying, dying it will look pretty good. It just won't grow because the roots are all tangled up and woody and unable to take up any water or nutrients. So no matter how much you water the tree, it won't grow. This is most noticeable when two trees have been planted at the same time, given the same amount of water and fertilizer, and treated the same in every way, but one looks the same today as it did several years ago when it was first planted. Other root issues might also lead to stunting, if you live in the hill country with rocky limestone and virtually no soil, it could be that the planting hole you dug is simply a basin and the tree's roots can't penetrate into the rock surrounding them. The bottom line is, if the roots can't grow, the tree won't grow. Unfortunately, the only way to confirm girdling and other root issues is to dig up the tree and inspect the roots. So most people choose to just leave the tree alone and live with its small stature. The bad news is, it may take a decade or more, but eventually, if the roots can't grow, the tree will die. Our plant of the week is Pam's Pink Turk's Cap, Malva Viscus ex Pam per year. This wonderful plant is a cross between another, more tropical Turk's Cap cultivar, Big Mama, and our lovely native variety, Drummondii. Pam's Pink has a similar growth habit to our red flowering native and also prefers a similar habitat. It's very drought tough once established, but is also great for rain gardens or other areas that get seasonally wet. Pam's Pink gets about four to six feet tall and equally as wide. It can take the full sun, but also does well in shade. It's listed as hardy to zone seven or five degrees Fahrenheit, so it should be able to handle most Central Texas winters. But during an extra hard cold snap, the roots may freeze and the plant may die. In warmer areas, Pam's Pink may be an evergreen shrub, but even in mild winters, it will benefit from being pruned to the ground and forced to start over with all new growth each spring. The plant is covered in coral pink turban-shaped flowers from late spring through fall. It attracts hummingbirds and butterflies and is said to be deer resistant. To do in your garden this week, it's time to plant pumpkin seeds for your autumn harvest. You can also direct seed squash and cucumbers. We'd love to hear from you, so please, Visit klru.org ctg to send us your questions or plants of the week from your garden.